If you are a strength athlete, if you are a gym owner, or if you train professional athletes, I would highly encourage you to get these things because these things can take a beating and they are not going to get damaged at all in terms of who won't benefit from it. Hey everyone, thanks for tuning in. Steven here with Team Euphoric, and today I've got another equipment review for you guys. And today I'm going to be reviewing the Extreme Monkey Urethane Bumper Plate Set. I absolutely love these, and in terms of the features, as the name implies, these are going to be made from urethane, and they come in pairs. You get a pair of 25s, 35s, 45s, and 55s for 320 pounds total, and the colors, they're going to be your standard colors. The 55s come in red, the 45s come in blue, the 35s come in yellow, and the 25s come in green. And then they also come with a 450 meter, millimeter diameter hole, which is going to fit any Olympic barbell and that is actually the standard used by the International Weightlifting Federation. It also comes with a 140 millimeter hard chrome insert and the weight is going to be plus or minus 1% of whatever is listed so it's going to be fairly accurate. And now let's get into the uses. In terms of their uses, they can be used for barbell training, sled training, grip training. For grip they're really really good because they are really really thick and they also don't have exactly the easiest thing to hold on to. So if you do plan on doing things like farmer's walks, these are going to be terrific for that. And then also you could use them just as a standalone piece of equipment. So if you don't have a bar, you could do your pressing, pulling, all of your primal patterns, pushing, pulling, bending, lunging, squatting, and twisting, just using the weight plate by itself. And now we're going to get into the pros and cons. But first, real quick, like the video and comment down in the comment section as it would really help me out and help out with the algorithm. And if you're either new to the channel or haven't subscribed yet, be sure to subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell so you don't miss out on any of the content. And now we're going to get into the pros and cons. In terms of the pros, these are going to be very, very durable. I've had these things for over four years and they still look brand new. Another pro is that they are going to add a little bit of color and variety to your gym space. If you work out in a dungeon like somebody like Dorian Yates, then these will definitely brighten up the place a little bit. Another pro is that they are going to fit all of your Olympic bars, so you don't need to worry about it not worth fitting. And then one of the final pros is that the weights are going to be fairly, fairly accurate. And then in terms of the cons, they, there are a few cons. Number one con is that they are going to be very, very pricey. Unlike your cast iron plates, these are going to run you roughly six times more than your cast iron. Your cast iron, you could get them for about six, one dollar a pound whereas these work out to about six dollars per pound this right over here the set ended up costing sixteen hundred ninety nine dollars and then plus hst it came out to nineteen nineteen eighty seven and that's in canada where i live i ended up getting three of these sets so for all three sets it worked out to five thousand seven hundred fifty nine dollars and sixty one cents or six dollars a pound so they are quite pricey if you are operating in a home gym another one of the cons is that unlike the rubber bumper plates these are going to be very very hard so if you do plan on dropping them from a high from a high spot then these definitely will damage your floor and they are going to make a lot of noise unlike the rubber bumper plates and then one of the final cons is that this is just my own personal con it's not probably going to be a huge deal for you but i ended up getting the tip bar for my rehab patients and these do not fit my tip bar so i had to buy a bunch of virgin rubber plates to fit my tip bar so that was a little bit of annoyance uh, a little bit of an annoyance but that's just my own personal gripe and now let's get into who can benefit from it if you are a strength athlete if you are a gym owner or if you train professional athletes i would highly encourage you to get these things because these things can take a beating and they are not going to get damaged at all in terms of who won't benefit from it if you are a beginner lifter if you are trying to set up a home gym or if you are training the general population and you don't work with really advanced lifters then ideally you'd be better off saving money and getting something like cast iron plates instead because these are going to be quite pricey. And then overall my thoughts, I absolutely love these things. If I had to buy them again, I absolutely would. My one pet peeve with regard to these is that they don't fit my damn tip bar. But aside from not fitting the tip bar, I absolutely love them and I would encourage you guys to get them. But that's pretty much it for today's video. Next week, I'm gonna be reviewing the Extreme Monkey Crumb Rubber Bumper Plates. So if you're looking for some crumb rubber bumper plates or something that's a little bit less impactful, then tune in next Saturday at 10 o'clock a.m. But that's pretty much it for today's video. If you guys have any questions, go ahead and ask your questions down in the comment section so I can help you guys out. But that's pretty much it for today's video. If you guys enjoyed the video, be sure to smash that like button so I'm going to keep making these types of videos in the future. And if you're either new to the channel or haven't subscribed yet, be sure to subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell, as I'm going to be uploading new videos every single day. That's it for today's video. Thanks for tuning in, and I will see you again tomorrow.